Hey guys, it's your boy Serrano here. I'm in with a quick tutorial on how to fix the turn off the screen overlay on Android uh, step by step. So the first um, thing you want to do is when you get this message, it'll say screen lay or it's detected screen lay screen overlay detected to change permission setting. First, you have to turn off the screen overlay from the settings apps. Then it gives you this option here. You could just click that. Um, some people, when they get that message, they're saying they can't see an option to turn it off. Um, well, there's a button right here on the back where you would... um long press this button right here until you get the option right there where it says it says turn off phone restart airplane mode what you want to do is you want to long press this button and that says safety mode turn on okay so once your phone is on safety mode, um, that gives you the ability to um, manipulate all the settings and all the permissions on your phone as you would like. And um, it's going to reset your, sc your phone for about a few seconds. It's going to um, do a quick reset. And safety mode um, basically is uh it's like for easy access to ch uh, changes without having to deal with the permission settings so it overrides that without um those messages popping up every time on the screen so you you'll be able to um go into the settings option you'll be able to go into um per permissions configure permissions and um then from there we can have the ability to uh take off that screen overlay and draw over apps um feature in, in this mode um as well so we got to get into this mode before we can have the ability before we have the ability to um do anything so as you could see, it grays out the main apps here that aren't are no longer of, can be used because it's in the um, safety mode. And then what you want to do is you want to go into settings. You want to go into apps. You want to go into configure apps. You want to go into draw over other apps and you want to choose the app that is giving you trouble right here in this list and you could click click um if it gives you that option you can click it on or off and then once that's done the app that's giving you problems you would go to into the app permissions and you would um give it access to each um whatever app you're having problems with you would click that feature on for permissions so you can have permission over the app and you would do the same thing and this is you can only just do this for the app that's giving you a hard time but make sure you're on the settings mode the safety mode and it'll give you the ability to man manipulate All right, so once you've chose all the apps you want to have permission over, you can um, double check in this screen. It says body sensors, calendar, camera. So if you're using Instagram or Facebook, it's going to be controlling the camera as well as the storage. 
So you want to make sure that the storage is uh, that whatever app you choose, you want to make sure that the storage can uh, is on the storage feature. And um, after you've done all that. You can get out of the safety mode right from your main screen here. Turn off safety mode. And then we'll just wait for the screen to power back in from the safety mode. It'll probably be another additional 30 seconds to a minute. So just be patient. Uh, soon you'll be able to access that app that was giving you a hard time and you'll be back in business um so my screen is loading and it'll be back up shortly and that's that metro pcs on the nationwide t-mobile network all right so once that's done we're just about ready to go What we want to do is we want to, um, let's see. So once we get back into the screen, we should have access to the app that we wanted and, um, we should actually be ready to go. Um, let me just connect to the internet for a quick second. In addition to that, you could also follow these steps from Android Pit. Um, so you detected the and received the screen overlay message, and you have no idea what to do. Well, follow the step-by-step -step guide here on Android Pit. Click full article. Okay, so it says the problem. Android suddenly warns you that the screen overlay has been detected. The reason the message appears when you're running when you're running on a floating app and then you start a newly installed one, which requests access to rights. Floating apps, which include chat heads like Facebook, can appear uh, floating above other apps. So users across the internet have reported experiencing this problem on Samsung Motorola phones, even LG. In this instance, it seems likely to affect many manufacturers managed to replicate the behavior on the Vodafone and a smart and a smart uh, Samsung smartphone um, problem apps. We replicate the problem using Droop, but Clean Master, Lux, and Twilight have all been the blame for the problem. So, if you have Clean Master on your phone, um, I would suggest uninstalling that and downloading this app called clean my android which won't give you screen overlay and um if you have any other app that is supposed to clean your phone delete it immediately and trust me use this one clean my android you won't have any problems with screen overlay with that app um so you go into the settings tap the magnifying glass into the search term draw over apps and it gives you the ability then you click the application press more um, options there as i showed you step two find that um, list of apps that you need to access um, do you see the bubble um, this app is most certainly the cause either hide the app bubble and da 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 so reportedly clean master can be a troublemaker if you see clean mister in this list disable it there's no obvious cause disable everything step three now you can try launching the app again it should request permissions without the, the screen overlay error getting in the way step four reactivate the screen overlays in order to 
for the app you have to disable um, you have disabled in step two to work again you need to re-enable the its overlay permissions if you turned off all apps it might be worth reconsidering only reactivating those apps that you actually use this is rather inelegant workaround but it's the best way until google makes necessary changes to prevent screen overlays interfering with um permission dialogues if you guys saw my video on the system update for android how to update your system android from lg ms um 550 to the ms 550 10p please watch that video and it will fix this issue you won't get any screen overlays anymore with that new software so update to the new software go to my channel like and subscribe looking for my video on how to upgrade to the newest android software so you won't have these problems with the screen overlay again i thank you for watching and it's your boy serrano have a good night peace